guys, since Junior has his friend over, I am making some brownies. I got the Supreme Triple Chunk. So this will be really just for the boys. Easy, you guys. An egg, a quarter cup of water, and a third cup of vegetable oil. So I'm about to whip this up. Pour in my nice new pan. I'm so excited to use. So I'll show you guys how they turn up. Put it in there. See how it turns out. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Doing Time with the Darlings. Welcome to all of our new crew members. We are going to say hashtag positive peeps 30. This is actually day five. We are on our day four. So. How's everybody doing? First of all, you guys, I wanted to say, ladies, I was actually surprised and it made my heart feel good and my heart sing to know that I'm not the only one that feels like they battle sometimes with, like, the devil knocking at my door 24-7 and need to be on top of my game. So, you girls that shouted out to me about, like, feeling the same way, Thank you so much, made me, because I even contemplated saying that, like, do I sound crazy saying that? So, I thought that was awesome, so thank you for that feedback. Um, on positive notes today. It wasn't a great day at work today. But the bad things that happened, I handled them in a positive way. I could have bucked and said, no, not going to do it, but I didn't, because I have to tell myself it's, it's all my job, but I work with certain people that just don't do nothing, get so frustrated sometimes. Gonna have to talk about it. <laughs> and it's hard to... Do you feel like... I don't know, I'm asking him this for the first time. Do you feel like with this challenge, because I do, but I struggle with my positivity a lot more than Mike does. Mike's usually always pretty positive. Um, I'm always positive, even on a bad day. But you don't struggle with all the demons like I do. But exactly. Do you think with this challenge, do you find yourself trying to find more positive out of the day? No. No, see, and I do, but see, I know I positive is just gonna come. You're pretty positive anyway. Though, I am. So I think that's great. Because I could have said hell no to me. a lot of jobs today, and my big boss would have been okay. He would have understood, but I don't. <clears throat> I just suck it up. I do it, and then I'm glad I did it. Because I try to keep my personal feelings out of my workplace always. There's some people I can work with that I but hate. But that is so hard to do There's sometimes. There's people I just dislike. People in the past, we all I know. just That's a cannot very hard stand thing. them. But if it comes down to a job I have to do with them, being professional, I can do that. We can work together. It'll be perfect. But when the job's done, we don't have to like each other. On get on the your way, exactly. Because my job is my job. Exactly. But I handled everything pretty well today. With poise and. I have a right to say no to certain things up there but nine out of ten i don't like today i said okay i got you and i got them all done i don't know some days i just have great story after great story but then i have days like today where it's just ah just people we work with <laughs> just gets under my skin frustrating a little bit but i turn it all into a positive I did the job, I got it done. I feel like you have to, because two negatives does not make a positive. So, we, I feel like we use that a lot in our analogy of raising our kids, that negative and negative does not can make, you know, anything with the child positive. Like, as far as, you know, the, the wrong that they're doing, your disciplining, whatever, but not throwing any positive that way, well, nothing's gonna change, it's just gonna be negative. So, I feel like we do use that analogy, don't you? Yeah. Of new, yes, so. 
I would have to say another positive note that we're both like really excited about is we're almost to 50 subscribers so I would say that's a huge positive thing in our message today is it was frustrating for frustrating for a little while we were stuck at 24 for a while we were stuck at 43 or 42 for a while so Mommy's really trying really hard and but with each and every comment that we get that makes us feel closer to everyone and like we are making a difference and reaching out and talking to people and I think it's awesome. So I know my loneliness has gotten less because of certain people that I watch and certain people that talk to me and I think it's awesome. So all positive things so we would have to say that's probably our most positive for the day is that we are really really excited so I have to tell you guys Mike and I you know talk all throughout the day well this man would check his 401k 42 times <laughs> a day by the time I talked to him at you know yep. noon and now it's become checking our videos, checking our videos, checking our videos. He's like, I'm so obsessed, you know? I, I know, so does anybody else do that? You check your stuff a lot and, oh, we got another, you know, view, or oh, we got another subscriber. So That's we're exciting. really excited, yeah, about our journey. And so congratulations to us and everybody out there. We're all becoming successful together, you guys, but it's not easy work and all the editing, video taping, all the, it's, it is hard work, so. So I think on a closing note, you guys, I have to tell you, I have somebody that I have loved and cared for pass away recently. Um, this person was an amazing woman and I loved her very dearly. And I would just like to share her story because I think it's an awesome story. So with me being sad with her passing away, I will tell you where I found the absolute positive out of it. So um, she was 17 or 18 years old um, when she went to see Frank Sinatra. There was a man in the Frank Sinatra band and this man said that he saw her out in the crowd when they were performing and after the show walked down to this woman and proposed to her right there they didn't even know each other's names nothing and she said yes and ooh, I got the chills and they got married and had this beautiful, amazing, wonderful, beautiful family who obviously loves each other very much. So my positive out of, out of her going to heaven is she is finally, finally with the, her soulmate, her true, you know, one love of her life. And so I'm so glad to see no more suffering and all that. God finally told her it was time to come home and be with him. So I thought that was awesome because her story rocked my world and has since I heard about it. So, so on a positive note, it was a very, very sad, but such an awesome thing to think about her. You know what I mean? Like her and him dancing to Frank Sinatra. You know, I just, how awesome. awesome. Like, forgive me because it was... So, it is, it's, it's awesome. That puts a smile on my face because I truly don't know a woman that deserves it more to be in heaven with her husband, so. So forgive my tears, you guys, it was an emotional, but awesome, positive message that I wanted to deliver as far as telling that neat little story, so. That's all I got. Okay. That's all I have to. <laughs> okay. okay, you guys. Actually, I'm going to show On you... On Sundays, you'll get more out of me. Mikey's tired. Because it's That's my one day off. That's right. It's Saturday, and I'm sitting up. Yeah. Nobody a, can see you. A lot, of, a lot of time during the week, oh. I'm always leaning back or laying back because I'm just so tired. I'm tired right now, but it's my Saturday. 
And I know I don't work tomorrow, so I got a little bit more, a little more juice because it's going to be my day with, with my kids. But Sundays I'm more amped up. Mommy got to work, but just till 2. Junior has a friend over spending the night, so. Great kid. Yeah, obviously you hear them. They're just like gaming and laptop and all that, so. Actually, you don't hear them. Yeah, yeah, that's what you don't hear. <laughs> They're lovely. awesome together. They're lovely. awesome together. Yes. And even Mia tonight is real mellow. Yeah, you don't hear her. She's watching Boss Baby. And she's so. right here. Yes. So I want to show you guys one more thing. Um, I decorated quite a bit, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to hit up the Dollar Tree for some stuff and probably the thrift store again because I'm obsessed with the thrift store. Scott Squad, oh my God, your thrift store haul that you just did, girl. I'm, I'm a thrift store whore, so much love to you, girl. So I'm going to show you guys some Halloween stuff that we I've already put up. Um, I did want to show you guys what I made. So you guys, I took an old book and I actually, I'm going to make like the total craft video of exactly how to do it and tutorial and step by step. So, because I did it kind of as I was making, but this is how it turned out. I don't know if you guys can see very good. It's supposed to be spells. But I did like the, want to hit the light? Hit the big light, maybe you can see, just for a minute. How I really, so you guys, I put like the jewels. You know what this is? This is like twine from our camping trip. That's exactly what it is. You can use rope, twine, um, yarn, hemp string, you know what I mean? Uh, whatever, so, and then I got the little, so I thought that was really cute, you guys. Mommy worked hard on that, but really it only took me a couple hours. Then I colored the, you know, like lid. So that's one of my little Halloween homemade decorations. I'm still working on this one. Hopefully you can see. All I did was, you know, paint it, super glued, a Dollar Tree skeleton on there. I do have written on there potions. Potions. And at the bottom I have poisons, but I'm gonna put that in red glitter at the bottom. So it'll be potions and poisons. So that'll go along with our Halloween stuff. So yay, I'm all excited. I'm like the holiday girl. I'm We're just the waiting holiday for Christmas. family. Yeah, daddy's like wait till Christmas. Christmas nut. And you guys fill me in. So in fact, Kay, Kay from Scott Squad, girl, you said Vlogmas today. I remember because you were like, oh, I keep saying Vlogmas. It's not Vlogmas, it's Vlogtober. So, girl, when is Vlogmas? Is that, I'm imagining that's December. So, let me know. Is that what we do? We vlog every day in December. So, all right, hit me up, girl. You guys, I'm going to show you the house really quick and get this video out so we can go the hell to bed. Okay, so I got my, we got our big light that we use, so I like that. I think it was 15 bucks, but awesome. it was worth it, so. So, you guys, I got that. Oh, thrift store, talking about thrift stores. I know I love our lamps too, but I got that thrift store for $2. All of our Halloween stuff up there. I need to do more... What do you call it? Maybe hit the light just for a minute. I need to do more spider webs. Cute little trick or treat. This is cute though, you guys. This is so this is gonna be my I need some more fairy lights to finish. And there's my other project. I'm gonna show you guys the whole how to make them and everything so I made those yes I made those so I gotta get it got it like I said Dollar Tree and thrift store again finish that up because I want some yes I want some uh, lights there those there got some no trespassing signs we got a boo in the hallway you can't see but then I put, ooh, purple and green, you guys, with a bunch of spider webs up there. 
Oh, I need to put spiders in there. That's what I need. A bunch of spiders to put in there. So see, I'm not done yet. Then you come in here. This is kitchen to the living room. I think it's starting really cute. All my decoration stuff. I'm gonna put this somewhere else too, you guys. This cute little witch's broom. I think I'm gonna hang the witch's broom and two witch's hats from the ceiling in here, you guys. So I just gotta get some more thumbtacks. So kitchen. It's kind of all Halloween. Halloween a little bit, but I definitely want to do some more, so. Alright, you guys. I wanted to show you Halloween stuff. Those, oh, and there's the brownies. I almost forgot to show you the brownies. So. Alright. Little witch there. Oh, he wants to get some more stuff. I got that whole box is still Halloween stuff, so. Okay. Okay, you guys. Well, we showed the house and everything else, so. We're tired. It's almost 10. Mommy's going to edit this video and put it up and. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to tell these kids they better. Put a movie on and oh look at my eyes. <laughs> yep. All right. Bye, you guys. Hashtag Positive Peeps Thirty. Everyone have a wonderful, blessed Saturday night. Be safe. Be careful. Everybody have a good night. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. 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 Okay, she's gonna say bye. 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 Okay, bye.